Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to uh, explain the types of the licenses and click view. So it might, I'm going to demystify that in a very easy way. Uh, might not be exactly, you know, how you have read the different term. I mean, I'm trying, going to try to simplify the things. So the first thing is uh, they in click, they are called CALS, uh, which is abbreviation for client access license. Um, so we have the four types of CALS, user CAL, document CAL, session CAL, and usage CAL. Uh, the user CAL or named CAL, uh, as it's called, uh, is a very easy one. So it's essentially just like, you know, one user will have one named CAL and he can use any document, he can access any document. Um, there is no cap on that. Uh, then there is a document CAL. So the document CAL is a bit tricky one. It's is uh, at times I have found people, you know, harder to understand. So what happens is document CAL is like, you know, it's based on the document. So, or the application. So if you have one application and you want to assign it to one user, so it's going to use the document CAL. The other way could be you can give that user a named CAL, then he will don't, no, don't need document CAL. It will be for the user who do not have the named CAL, then you have to assign document CAL. So in document CAL, so we assign the document CALs to a document that this, this document can have these many number of document CALs. And uh, we will see that in a video that how you can assign that uh, though. But uh, what happened is that if a one person as uh, uh, try to access one document, it's one cal. If two person try to access single document, it's two cals. So it's not by document. So it's document into number of the people who are trying to access that uh, document. And I have to give an example. If there is only one user hand, he is trying to access two different documents. So then you will need to assign one document to one cal and another document cal to another document. So essentially two document cals is going to be used. Then there are less frequently used are the session cals and the usage cal. Uh, session cal is like concurrent session. So at a time you, if you have one session cal, uh, so it can be assigned to any person. Any person can use it to any document. But uh, the important thing is at a time, uh, if someone is using that, the other person cannot use it. So uh, it's it's like concurrent user uh, using those sessions. And then there is a usage cal, uh, which essentially, you know, get uh, uh, one session of 60 hours. Uh, it gets replenished every 30 days or 28 days uh, after the use. Uh, so uh, definitely there is a cost uh, attached to each type of cal. Uh, session cal is the most expensive one. Then there is a named cal, then document cal, and then the usage cal. Uh, use cal comes in buckets uh, and this is very cheap one uh, uh, but still they are um, not that much effective it totally in all these type of users have their different uh, use cases and uh, so uh, do talk to your uh, experts before choosing type of cal that you want 